This is the true story. This is the true story of guitar YouTubers. This is the true story of guitar YouTubers! Pick to live in a guitar house. Unbox together. Demo together. Play together. To find out what happens when... People stop being guitar! And start being house. And start being house. Guitar house. Guitar house! Guitar house! Guitar House is brought to you with support from Sweetwater, Diadario, Chase Bliss, and Big Ear Pedals. <laughs> Welcome to Get Offset. My name is Emily. And if you've made any mistakes today and you're feeling bad about them, don't feel too bad. I promise you, I made a worse one this morning and I told myself that in the mirror. So if you're planning on leaving mean comments in my videos, remember, you can't tell me anything that I haven't heard worse from myself, spoken to myself in a mirror. <laughs> How's that for an intro? But uh, I'm, at, I'm actually having a great time today despite accidentally doing things I wasn't supposed to do on SD cards. Whoops. Uh, like right before I started filming this. But the show must go on. I'm at the Guitar House, AKA Ryan Burke's house, uh, trying to make this guitar house a home, damn it. Um, that is a, just a collection, a gathering of guitar YouTubers, including Perfecto De Castro, obviously Ryan Burke, um, Working Class Music, and Mike Adams, AKA Pusheen. So it's been a great time. We've demoed so much gear. Thank you, Sweetwater, Big Ear, Chase Bliss, and Dario. Sweetwater sent this, this Kramer from their uh, Pacer series, and I will include the name of this guitar in the video description and the title because, uh, you know, I just don't remember it, but it's $380. I do remember that. Uh, and check out Working Class Music. They are doing a video on this guitar as well, including, I believe, Mike Adams uh, fixing the Floyd Rose, which uh, didn't come perfect out of the box, but for $380, Floyd Rose, uh, the, let's talk about, let me talk about the feel a bit. I've never played a guitar, I don't, I don't know if I've ever, that's not, that might not be true. I've never had a guitar with a Floyd Rose, so I'm not like super familiar with them. But like the neck feels really nice. It's a nice satin finish on the neck. Uh, the body is really light. It's just this, this beautiful flaky purple. Uh, I don't feel like the pictures online super duper do it justice. This is gorgeous. Like, is the finish perfect? Um, I can't find like noticeable faults in it. I haven't really looked it in the mouth too much, but uh, the back the back plate is off. Um, so I'm not gonna show you the other side of it. Uh, some, you know, plastic finishings here don't look don't look the best. Um, if you get this guitar, maybe you'll swap out the pickups. Um, but you know, this is a looker, as as we say, and. In the biz. So I'm gonna play some uh, decidedly unmetally things on this guitar. I'm gonna start in the neck pickup. I'm playing um, the Harmony H605 amplifier. Um, yeah, so that's the starts. Quite a lot of reverb. a spring that has quite a long dwell on it, doesn't it? Alright, now I'm going to move to the middle position. And the bridge.
forgot how the rest went. Just did it three, just did it twice very well. And then I just forgot. playing that lick with a B bender. A little bit easier. I, I'm kind of in love with this. That is like, it, <laughs> I wasn't expecting such a metal guitar to actually kind of sound really nice for like country stuff. Lucky, you know. to compensate the volume. not be the amp for those metal sounds.
experimenting with a Floyd Rose at this point. I'm like, I wonder if I can get that kind of like... buy this guitar. Um, I don't usually just come out and say it. I would, I would buy this guitar. Uh, I would buy this guitar. <laughs> 380 bucks. This is really, really fun. It sounds better. The pickups sound better than I was expecting. I think that any of like the sounds that, that you, you think, like, I think I wish I had played it through the 5150. I kind of asked my husband to, to put the harmony in because I thought I'm, I was having some trouble getting clean sounds I liked out of the 5150 and I was having an okay time getting clean sounds I liked out of this. But I really wish I had um, kept the 5150 just because I would have liked to have seen how this sounded like really with high gain. But the cleans I thought were really nice and spanky on this. And that gives me a lot of hope that it would sound awesome. I think actually, you know, I've heard, uh, I heard other people playing this through the 5150 and it sounded really good. So uh, if you want to take my word for it, that'd be fun, but you don't have to because uh, you should listen to your ears. Um, of course, but I know working class music is going to have a video on this. As I said, I, I imagine other channels will also, um, but you know, this has been a fun guitar. Um, yeah, you know, it needed a little bit of work uh, out of the box. Um, one of the springs came kind of unsprung, uh, which was causing some issues. So like it needed a little bit of work. Like the fretboard isn't super duper beautiful. Those dots are clearly painted on. Like it's not like the highest quality Kramer in the world, but it's definitely a starter Kramer and a really fun guitar. And the clean sounds outperformed my expectation. And the finish is uh, breathtaking. So if you want, if you like, if you're new, okay, if you're new to guitar, especially, um, and you're looking for a good beginner kind of metal guitar, and you want something that's like, I always say, like, get the guitar that's going that you're going to see, like on a stand, and it's going to make you want to play it. This would be that guitar for a lot of people, I think. So that's that's my thought. Um, thank you again to Ryan for hosting us at the Guitar House. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe for more. It's the best way to help the channel. Please use the affiliate links if you want to buy anything you've seen in this video or elsewhere um, on the internet. If you're ever on Sweetwater and you're like, I want that, uh, please just come back to one of my videos, click on that affiliate link, find that product, and it was a, it's a great way to support the channel doing something you were already gonna do, cost you zero extra dollars. I just get a portion of that sale. Sweetwater shares it with me. It's a great thing to do uh, for us. Uh, thank you also to Chase Bliss Audio, Big Ear Pedals, and Daddario Strings and Things. Um, I got some Daddarios righty. Uh, so um, thank you to all the channels as well, 60 Cycle Hunt, Perfecto De Castro, Michael James Adams, and uh, Working Class Music. Thank you so much to everybody out there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for understanding. Until next time, my name is Emily. Goodbye.
next time Anymore. on Guitar House. Oh, is it of this guitar house? Guitar? <laughs> guitar in this house! What? Can I have one more? You Guitars in this house! Man, these white people crazy. <laughs>